Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn about post processing and post processing is like just to give you a background. Post processing is like uh, filters on your game. Just like we do on images, it's just like a filter on a game just to make your game look good and fine. So that's the reason why we use post processing and it comes with the cost of processing it takes to render the scene so first of all what are we looking at is a screen the main display of unity so before unity we have to go to unity assets and download and uh, import those assets into unity that's not the case anymore because unity has a project manager right now functioning so if we go into this belt we will see window and if we click window a menu drops down and that's called package manager so it was package manager I said project manager so it's a package manager we we'll click it you will see all the assets in your account you have added since you begin you know if, if it's in your account it's in there so well, first we first thing we have to do is we have to switch from assets my assets to unitary registry so if we go into unitary registry you will see post processing already there because I have used it so it's already selected but in in your PC if you haven't used it before it won't be there so let's say let's say I opened up and this came into my screen so I'll, I'll search for post processing so when you write post it will give you post processing uh, immediately so the version i'm using is 3.0.3 .3, and it was published on february 23rd 2021 all right so of course it was released by unit technologies as it is uh, free so i have already added into our into my scene or my project so I will remove it first so that's how you remove any package from uh, your project so it's removing it and so we have to wait a little bit to be in the post processing package to be removed so yes if I close it and open it again package manager post processing then you will install it that's how you will see if you first search it post processing that's how you will see that installed and now it, it's it's installing it will take a little bit a little bit of time you know it depends upon your machine so it's taking like a bit longer this is importing from uh, unity.com so it's done let's go you just close it so we have downloaded the package of uh, unity post processing and it's for free and by the way this scene is also from unity as a store and it's free you can download it and practice on it it's really nice so yeah I'll give the link in the description so first thing first you we have to create a profile so we go into our asset profile for post processing so we go into our assets right click going to create on the top and here you see post processing profile so we click it and here it is created so you name it post processing whatever you want to know yeah whatever you want to name it just name it reasonable so it makes sense so I'll, I'll name it PP for post processing so our post processing profile is created right here now what we have to do is we have to go into our hierarchy and create an empty object and why is that because we have to connect our profile to our scene so if there is something in the scene it will show up and if there uh, there's, uh, it's not in the scene it will not show up so we have to connect these two things so we will create an empty object just like that you will name it and i'll name it to 
post processing game object like that okay so this is our game object of post processing where, where all the magic will happen so if you select post processing game object which is ppgo and go into inspector you will see add component it's everywhere camera add component terrain add component props whatever you know there is add component in every object okay so add component here we will search for post processing volume post processing volume there it is all right so we have added post processing volume into our post processing game object now first thing you will see is this there's nothing else you will see in this version you will see this so you have to check is global is checked you just leave these uh, to default and here profile it's asking for profile post processing profile so we have created this profile before so select this game object here you will see none so there is no reference to any profile so we will pick this up hold it and drag it over there where it's written none so when we drag it you will see post processing now this is done now we you you see this this default layer default option now we have to change this when you drop it down you will see add layer now I have already added a layer of post processing but if you are using it for first time there won't be this post processing layer so I will add layer post processing is already there so you have to name your layer whatever you want and wherever you want it can be layer 13 layer 14 layer 21 whatever I just added layer 8 to be you know whatever so name your layer whatever you want then go back into ppgo just write the name you know I'll, I'll, I'll write here pp so that's my layer name for post processing so it's just like photoshop there's layer on layers on layers so that's like that so ppgo layer uh, it's default layer so we will switch to post processing layer pp well all right was pp so whatever you write will show up here so it's pp good now now what we have to do is we just have to go into our camera and we have to add a component of post processing on camera because that's the main thing we are looking through towards our scene you know there's nothing else there's no source to look into our scene other than camera so we have to add a component just to put a shade in front of everything we see it so we add component and here we don't add post processing volume we add post processing layer so the layer is added post processing so if you see there's volume blending volume blending has trigger and layer so when you go into layer and there's nothing you have to drop it down and switch it to pp so this this is done now so everything is done now it's ready to use all right so we'll go into ppgo where all the magic happens we will do this and this so you will see this is the main thing you have to do everything in here so I will add effect unity I will add maybe you know I don't know grain okay so grain effect so now you will see nothing is checked you cannot play with anything it's not working so it's checked in like general but beneath that you will see all and none so when you click on all it will check all the options and when you click none it will uncheck all the options so let's let's click on all let's uh, we have to increase intensity so you can see on the screen the grains are showing up so 
that's how it works size you can increase the size you can decrease the size so you see that's how you do the effects or right, let's add an other effect called whatever it is let's say auto excoria now all and you can you can play around whatever you want you know like that whatever suits best to you so let's add another called bloom so in bloom you can check all intensity you can increase and decrease whatever you want to do you know threshold increase and decrease you will see the difference so you play on that and one important thing is as you add more effects it will take more processing power so keep that thing in the mind and this thing comes handy in that case so if you don't want to or if you are not using anything that's uh, there you can just uncheck it like this if i know if i'm not using diffusion i can uncheck this if i'm not using this i can uncheck this you you can check anything or you can uncheck anything you want to save your processing power and that's the main thing you have to do you know save the processing power and get the best result out of it so that's how you operate or apply post processing into your unity scene so i hope you learned something out of it till the next time bye bye and take care